Summon the concrete baby. <laughs> ah, concrete balance has been restored. Sweet, precious nuclear concrete production at long last. Vindication. I feel liberated. I feel powerful. Come, Winston Waves, friend or traitor, come. Smash down my concrete walls and see what happens. I could build as much as I like now. I could build, I could cover this whole map in concrete. Oh my god, no, I couldn't. Wow, that's really expensive. I mean, I could set the machine to non-stop. <laughs> Do well if it isn't snow and her dwarvely friends once again. Don't think the dwarvely is a real word. Everyone and their mother had the gall to complain about my nuclear reactor. Oh, it's not safe. Oh, you shouldn't build it next to the hospital. Oh, you need to go thicken the walls. Because there's some conspiracy in the comment section. That there's some, there's some magical, magical waves that are going to make our people's arms fall off and give them horrible poisoning. I can't see it can't be real. I, for one, am not willing or able to admit the consequences of my actions, so today, we triple down. We're gonna make energy weapons. I'm sure, this'll be safe. <laughs> Ooh, now there's some very key research we're looking for. Uh, I mean, everything, mainly, because we haven't got multi-analyzers yet, but after fabrication, power armor, prosthetics, replacement organs, that type of, you know, all that kind of boring stuff. Now, I'm looking for this magical special item called a Tesseract, and this item somewhere, I presume advanced fabrication in that case, uh, where am I looking here? So, we are looking for... Uh, maybe that thing? Yeah, there you go. Unlocks construction tesseract. This allows us to transfer electricity between layers of the base. So hear me out here. All of you people in the comments are saying we need all that boring stuff like radiation detectors or radiation suits, radiation medicines, all of that crap. What if we do a very dwarvely thing and we dig a deeper hole and we chuck it in there? Does that not make more sense? And in fact, we've basically got a hole dug already. What if we just put all the reactor and the power stuff down here behind an enormous... Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the mini-map. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like that before. That's absolutely nuts. Wow. Um, what I was about to say is what if we just... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I thought I'd gotten to dig out to the edge then. I thought maybe we could get, like, raiders or something down here. What if we just bring the, the nuclear power plant down here, seal it behind multiple layers of concrete... Because that seems very dwarvely. And then we just shoot the power upstairs with a tesseract. That seems that seems like a much safer, much better idea. And then we'll leave our volunteers in charge of running the nuclear facility, which I'm sure they're more than qualified for. You you, you people have to get out of your non-dwarven mindsets with your uh, crap safety measures, occupational health and safety, all that garbage. Just dig a hole. It's a solution to many problems. Bigger has also taken one of the dresses I intended for the... For the volunteers. Oh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make more of those now, aren't I? And, and maybe in between cross-dimensional power transference when we figured that out, maybe we could take a step back and give them some armor. <laughs> I know my priorities are a little bit messed up, okay? But that'll be oh, I suppose armor's probably a bit more honestly, probably a bit more essential than dealing with the uh potential radiation poisoning we've got on the line here. We don't have fabrication at all, do we? Sorry, I gotta I haven't played I took yesterday off of Valentine's Day. I know that yesterday wasn't Valentine's <laughs> You know what I mean, though? Like, it wasn't... What day is it? Who am I? I, mean, I was ill on the day I was supposed to take off, so I took a, a different day off instead, but I pre-recorded for it, so you wouldn't ever know except for the day off where I was ill, but I didn't record on that because I was ill. It's very... It all makes perfect sense when you think about it for a second. What we are trying to do as well, very desperately, of course, is reform the ideology. Lots of people link to mod that basically makes it so that you can uh, have rituals... Um, with with always 100% capacity no matter how many people you've got so it doesn't take into account the amount of people attending that's fine but part of the difficulty was supposed to be that the ideology gets harder the more people that that die right um so we're not going to do that we're going to we're going to make this work we're going to earn this ooh we can turn the machine gun monkers on now i really want to redo a lot of the defenses up here cuz not only does it look very aesthetically unpleasing very undwarven but with the uh do we not unlock some like big old yeah big old tank bunker and what is that? What do we need to build that? There's so many interfaces. I can't... Sir, um, do we need five components, two reinforced barrels, and I presume a bunch of concrete? Uh, yeah, eight packed concrete. Those would fit really nicely in that corner right there. I know they're manned, but we could just get, like, crafty and smashy on it or something like that. Some of our, our crappy shots. Can we build the Citadel? Walls out of concrete. We can. Oh, I've got to replace all of this. It will look so much nicer. There are Citadel embrasures, too. Two steel, ten concrete. Once we've dealt with these mechanoids, we're going to concreteify this out of out of embrasures instead of... Sorry, like citadel embrasures instead of castle wall embrasures. This is no medieval shit. 
We've done that too recently. That's another thing as well. All the safety experts, all the, apparently the nuclear engineers in the comment section were saying, I need another cooling tower to make sure things are safe. Look, we'll stick one over here, okay? We'll put it over there. We'll put it behind layers and layers of concrete, and then we'll never have to worry about it, right? Let's do something like that, and then we'll put a little secret tunnel. Everybody loves a secret tunnel. We'll put a secret tunnel down here, and in fact, what we could do... Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about how... <laughs> out there in the wild, that is. I feel like one stray mortar shell could really do some damage there. What if we put a big wall across? Ha! But then it would also, like, ruin this part of the kill box. Sorry? Boy has regained hope. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Regained hope. Why? Defeated in combat? Catharsis? Does that just mean they're not on a mental break anymore? Very confusing. There's no hope for you down here. You're missing... Oh. Oh. You probably make quite a crappy miner then, don't you? Whoops. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, compromise. Because I don't want to move this and, 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 you know, potentially ruin the entrance to things here. I don't want to make all of this irrelevant, right? Because I love the symmetry. We'll just put another layer around it. And maybe we'll <laughs> replace the wooden door with something a bit more durable. Something that the might stop raiders getting in there. How about... Hear me out here. Concrete? You like... Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. If memory serves, we can use the lathe to build reinforced barrels. Oh, we've only got two advanced components. Okay, hold off. We need, we need to wait for fabrication. As with everything else, we need to bloody wait for fabrication. That's totally fine, okay? We'll make do with what we've got. I think our defenses are good enough. In fact, hang on a second. We can turn on everything again. Let's turn the searchlights back on. I'm going to dot a few more of those around because they give that dazzled effect, right? Which lowers their... Someone said this isn't symmetrical. I know it isn't. It's because of this bloody water here. Um, The, the dazzled effect reduces down their uh their their aiming their sight specifically so let's get rid of some of these and swap them out I'm not just in this to survive anymore i'm not just here to try and get by and then escape no 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 we're here to thrive we are here to take control i am in control now yeah someone had that to the to-do list so actually contracted diarrhea from treating on okay we can get them better water that doesn't seem something that's outside of the realms of possibility with teleporting electricity through a tesseract, the least I can do is have them not shit and piss everywhere. Here come the scythers. I'm actually a little bit worried about this one. Like, maybe like 10% like more worried than usual. Smashy. Oh, get in facility. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. It takes a while to get in. I presume it'll also take a while to get out. Oh, that's really fun. Operator inside. Smashy, smashy mangler. And then we can click evacuate. Oh, but he can just hide in there until... Oh, well, the, the scythers aren't going to be able to take that out, right? A thousand... Hit points. Oh, man. Oh, I say that with not very much confidence. Bigot, get over here. Crafty, have you got a gun? I, I know you love drill. We all love drill. Swap over to your <laughs> ridiculous gun for me. There you go. That's a better defensive position. Oh, let's do that. Obviously, for the defensive position for Smashy, I guess we just have to sit him outside. Here they come. Are they drop potting? No, they're on the beach. What are they doing? Are you going to wait a while before you attack? Why? Why are you doing this? Pattern unknown. Oh, right. Uh, because when you pattern people's brains, you can plug them into mechanoids. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, they're getting heat stroke while they're out here. You know what? Go home. <laughs> Just go home. No, 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 no. You really you really don't need to get those meals. Hang on a minute. Ooh, there we go. Ah! That's a real problem. What the hell do you mean malnourished? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're not growing any food. Oh. Yeah, no, these are all terrible decisions, aren't they? Who could have done that? Oh, God, Brainy. He's going for the meals. The meals that are next to 10 Scyther. Oh, shit. This might have terrible, unforeseen consequences. Should we arrest him? Arrest that man? Oh, shit. Okay, go back him up. Oh, my God. Brainy, you moron. He's in cataphract armor, luckily. Don't shoot, Brainy. What are you doing? This is double damage. He's been absolutely shredded. Okay, you know what? That's that's uh, that's that's kind of okay. That's fine. It could have gone a lot worse. How's he looking? What did you have chopped off? Um, a finger and a thumb. It could have gone a lot worse. Whose man is this? Where did you come from? Must have been a separate group. How bizarre. Um, maybe shoot the one that's right there. <laughs> oh, they've caught Crafty. <laughs> wow, they're so tanky. Whoa, to say we've got this many turrets going for them, that's kind of nuts, isn't it? Crafty, how are you doing? Thank God for that. Whoa, casket. You got dazzled by our own lights. I never considered that before. Okay, well, that was really terrible. That was just awful. You're fine, but Crafty did almost die again. What was our reward? 
What was my reward, though? Ah, oh, here we go. Ah. Uh, great. Okay, I'll put that with the rest. Thank you. You could have said meals. You'd like some meals? Uh, do you want to... Oh, do we, you can leave now. Oh, it's instant to evacuate. Oh, well, that's good to know. Okay, you're fine. Brainy's okay. Let's quickly dash back and patch up. How's Crafty looking? Blitting out nine hours. You're okay. Okay, walk home. You go patch up the other guy. Note to self. Less bamboo, more meals. Oh, unless you're a colony of pandas, at which point you don't really need to worry about that, do you? <laughs> what the, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I here? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Floor below. How many mushrooms you got? Uh, 1,600. Uh, donate them. Please, please send them up a floor. This is why I said we need, like, a hydroponics floor. That would make so much sense and actually be a really good use. I say a hydroponics floor as if we haven't got all the space in the world down here. Very surprised we haven't had any infestations, given that we know they don't work on the Winston Waves timer, given the bloody bugs we've had to deal with. Well, actually, the infestation event might work on it. It's just all the other insects related crap um hey send us some mushrooms please go go bring those uh bring those mushrooms over here they're growing more too so it's not as if we're gonna if, if it's not as if this lot are gonna starve and even if they do i'd rather these people starve than my no than my actual colonists yes dinner is served thank you okay okay problem solved there you go uh, you know what? just don't grow anything ideally we want to lock this place down and never go outside again i think the real problem right now though is the enormous amount of missing limbs and that last raid certainly didn't help so snow's actually doing totally fine just missing a nose and a finger you're fine brainy is missing uh, an eye, an ear, a lung, a hand, uh, multiple toes, multiple fingers, multiple thumbs. Good. Um, you are missing... Oh, greens are totally fine. Shredded from dynamite. Oh, that's crazy. Who could have thrown dynamite at us? Uh, Bigot's also doing all right. Missing a leg and a thumb. Bastard is missing an eye, an arm, a leg, and a thumb as well. Really hate the thumbs, don't they? And then you're missing a kidney, a pinky, and a ring finger. Smashy's also fine. They're not as bad as I thought. Some of those are pretty important, I'd say. Like, the, the legs and the hands and anything missing. All right, so let's put an expansion down here, then. What are we building these walls out of steel? I'm going to add another double size building to uh, here. We'll throw down a shitload of, I don't know, lentils or something. Oh, we need sun lamp for that. When we get the, the power between floors, or if we bring the reacts down here, we can set up as many sun lamps as we want, right? We rush down real fast fabrication. Advanced fabrication. I'm saying that as if there isn't, like, hundreds of... <laughs> hundreds of research projects out here. So if we build the uh, multi-analyzer now, in theory, we can use that one reroll we've got to try and get fabrication right away. Come on, Brainy. Concrete can only take us so far. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have to be the one to say this. Okay, maybe it'll just reroll by itself because there are new research options. Nothing. All right, here we go. Reroll. Damn it. Oh, water filtration, though. I was just saying that would be nice. I, I want to know what hygiene bionics are. I mean, I can infer, but... You know, I've got to see it for myself. Fabrication or low time research like stew. Come on. Clockwork principle. That sounds pretty nice. That's the start of... Oh, but if we do that, that's going to lock a bunch of other research. We've got to min-max things. We're getting sweaty dwarfs. Right, there you go. Second cooling tower is done. I don't hear any more crying or complaining that we haven't got enough capacity. Even though I think it's... Oh, what do you mean? Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure it's really, really hard to blow these things up anyway. Like, you have to basically actively be doing it. Not to mention when we move underground, I don't think cooling towers will work, but I could give it a go. Because it'll be covered by mountain roof. What we could do is keep mining it, collapsing it in, and then taking that away. Because we do have a mod that lets us remove, um, you know, over, over, over mountain roofs by doing that. We'll just have to find a better solution, because that's just not going to work. Shit. Uh, radiators? <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a shit idea underground. Now all we have to do is invent a way to send heat between dimensions and we're oh, we're good. We're golden. Oh, hey. You just crafted... Was that a prosthetic arm? I forgot we queued those up. Um, No, I don't need these. Oh, God. Man, I really want hot tubs. <laughs> just making this rule of, let's just go for the cheapest research so we can find fabrication sooner and then you... You have to lure me out. Look, we can make concrete hot tubs. How can I not do that? We don't need to put, like, prosthetic limbs in the freezer. That's very silly. Uh, let's just blast those down maybe in the hospital. That might make some sense. We're absolutely cracking out research in no time now. We've got the NAAC online. All right, this should take... Ooh. This should take no time at all. But look at this. Agriculture worker casket. You've got the mining casket for me, I presume. Drill worker casket. Oh, God. We could convert the basement dwellers. Look at the chef one. Oh, it's got a little chef out. That's so good. My name is Chef. I think I'll, um... I think I'll take that. I mean, it's very... Oh, no, I hit re-roll. You moron. 
Ah. Uh, Fine, give me the air conditioning. I'm not happy about that. I have an idea. It's a, it's a really good idea. Because apparently the fuel rods on the floor will produce radiation. Here's the plan, right? What's this? Oh, you can change the fuel type. Uh, I'm going to turn the reactor off. And then we're going to load more fuel into it. And then if the fuel's in the reactor, it's not on the floor causing radiation. Right? Because <laughs> we've got like a massive amount of cooling capacity now. And it should be safe about now. Okay, I think we can start loading more stuff into it. Um... How have we got? We got like shitloads, right? Yeah, just just fill it up. Just fill that bad boy up. You watch me burn the whole base down with this. Adjacent rods, as far as I recall, also produce more heat. So this is a fantastic idea. Boom. Uh, how are we looking? No, this is good. No, look, we're running at twenty-five percent the cooling capacity. That actually works really, really well. And the turbine's at 50%, so we could still go a bit more nuts with it if we wanted to. What kind of power are we making? Oh, 40,000 watts. That'll do it. It's a bit of a waste of uranium, I'll admit. But we got plenty of uranium left over. I'm sure there's loads underground, so I'm not, I'm not that bothered. And I think we need the fancy other fuel rods for something uh, like nuclear weapons, now that they think about it. <gasps> that could be our end goal. That could be our end goal. We nuke the tree people. Oh my god, it makes so much sense. <laughs> Originally, the plan was survive until we could build a ship and fly away. But in hindsight, I love the idea of nuking the trees. That sounds a bit more on brand. Yeah, so we uh, did, We didn't get fabrication. We got packaged of other meals, though. That's pretty good. You, uh... <laughs> got any stuff for me? I'll take the auto doors. Those are, those are fine, I guess. I love fabrication. Not as much as concrete, but I, I mean, I'll... Oh god. I mean, that unlocks uh, napalm, so we'll take that one. I just love advanced components. Strike drones. Oh, every time you get me with something tempting. Um, Give me the scarecrow. Get out. That took a long time, didn't it, to get those components that we're about to get. Oh, Brady reached level 18 in intellectual, I suppose, if nothing else is. Oh, and Green reached level 5 in medical. What are you researching? Uh, Good. Yeah, no, this is fine. I hate this game. Every time. Every time I use semi-random research, I regret it. I know what you're about to say. You use it every time. I know. I'm well aware. What does that mean? What's that big nuclear... Did you see that? It was a big nuclear symbol over the water tower. I mean, I did... Oh, no. Oh. I mean, I did install a pump right next to the... Do you think that's a problem? <laughs> we didn't have enough... We didn't have enough water to build the other tower. So, um... Huh. I mean, it's not like they drink that, though. I promise I'm not, like, trying to speedrun killing them all. Uh, let's throw down a little bit of water treatment somewhere. I don't really know where, because I'm running out of room. Let's build a dedicated, separate grid for drinking from. That seems like a good idea. Let's throw down a pumping station. Let's throw down, uh, an electric pump. Or, oh, wait, those are electric anyway, right? Um, I actually have no idea. Oh, yeah, pumps from wells. Sure. So, let's throw down a water well... Somewhere isolated. Oh, because this all counts as the same cap, though, is it already going to be infected with the, with the nuclear stink? Let's presume not. I'll isolate this out, and then we'll have one grid for fueling the towers. All we've got to do is, like, cut the line here, and it's totally fine. There you go. So if we do that, and then uh, connect that up, and then we connect you to here and here, and then throw another water tower over here. Hopefully, they won't be drinking nuclear water. Maybe it's good for, good for their bones. It's character building. There you go. Nice, dedicated pumping room. A room for pumping. I've got to put down a septic tank too, I guess. Actually, what are we doing with the sewage? We'll just pump it through the same line. That's good. <laughs> Maybe I will try and tap the... Here we go. Look, we can tap the drinking water from a different... A different well entirely, just to be sure. I don't think it will make a difference. I think it's probably still safe, but that's now an entirely separate water grid with different water sources, different water towers, different water everything. And now, at long last... Ooh, I, can, I, I was so distracted, completely missed it. 31 from the Planetary Environment Defense Force. This could be quite big. Um, Sure, let's draft up fast. Sorry, that's my bad. Scattered everywhere. Honestly, that's the best thing we could have asked for. That guy's going to pop out and get absolutely glowed. Any time now. There you are. Hello. How you doing? Oh my god, the amount of... The amount of dazzle on that. Maybe I built too many spotlights. Oh shit, I've given them cover. Smashy is already down. That's not good. Ah, oh, from Friendly Fire. The old classic. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say let's pull back to the second position. Because this is... Oh, this is very bloody dangerous. Oh, my God. Uh, what, have you just been disarmed? Yeah, literally disarmed. Oh, good. Right, so Bastard has no arms left. I didn't like that explosion. Please don't do that again. Um, Smashy, how are you doing? 
You've been defaulted. That's great. You almost died. You almost lost an arm. You were stabbed in the heart by a spear. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I, I probably should stop pissing around very slightly now. Because these raiders are getting... Are getting a little bit brave. Oh, shit. We've got to watch out for some of friendly fire, though. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. C kill them. Kill them now. Please kill them. For God's sake. You just shot them in the head three times with that charge LMG. I saw it, and they're still standing. Four times. Five times. How is this even feasible? My people get... Oh, my people stub their toe, and the whole foot blows off. Ah, oh, shit. Don't, don't do a chamber. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. We're actually going to get wiped. Oh, shit. They're fleeing. <sighs> okay. We can't really be pissing around anymore. I got a little overconfident, I will admit. I put down all these turrets. I thought, like, everything's set to double damage. The turrets are going to be doing double damage. And then I kept putting my people on the front line. I will admit that doesn't make much sense in hindsight. Uh, how are you doing? So you're missing an arm. Okay, you were missing a foot. Uh, Brainy's down. You're, you're, there's nothing left. Brainy. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no one there. Um, and then Bastard, I've checked on Bigot. Bigot's down. Um, oh, God. Wow. The spears, though. Um, okay, this is a slight problem then. So let's get... And you two are fine, right? So you can start patching people up. Um, Bigot really needs tending right now. Oh, God, they all do, though, don't they? Oh, they all do. Um... Okay, 10 bastard. Oh, shit. This is going to be borderline impossible, isn't it? Crafty can tend. So let's get you tending. You, you've actually got all right medical skill. Let's get you tending you. You're tending you. You tend... Uh, let's get, get green tending bigger. And then it's just Brainy, but Brainy's, Brainy's bleeding out an 11. So we've got... Enough overhead, I think, to make this still work fine. Wow. Oh, my God. You're still alive. Even with the double damage, I really can't afford to be pissing around because these mini turrets have no armor penetration. They've got cataphracts armor. Yeah, okay. I need to... Uh, I need to maybe get my head in the game a little bit now. We've had our fun with silly nuclear reactors and, and nuclear poison toilets and everything else. Now we've got we've to gotta focus a little bit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Just bear with me. Four hours. Okay, so you're doing okay. Two hours on you. I won't say doing okay. I mean, you're not going to immediately die. Why did you stop? No, no, no. Oh, you have to put the fire up. Keep tending. Keep tending. Brainy's fine. Brainy can walk it off. Shit, this is a mess. My, my worst case scenario now is someone breaks down because then we physically cannot tend everybody in time. Shh, this is a mess. Wow. <laughs> Zero percent tank quality. That's fine. That's okay. I mean, they're not going to bleed out. That's the main part. Oh, shit. You're, you're so slow at tending. Okay, so we've got five hours of you. We've got 20 hours on you. So, Snow, move off to... Oh, genuinely, it may be a better idea to swap with you two. Because Brainy's got more hours than Smashy has, even after being tended. Because Crafty is just so bloody slow. So, uh, the, the mod that gives the war caskets the ability to work also gives them a massive penalty for working wearing a war casket. So, it is... Uh, Crafty is still effectively kind of useless except for combat, where Crafty still is kind of useless. 18 hours. Okay, that's looking a bit more promising. You could just stand there and do nothing, too. Yeah, no, that's fine. Sorry, did I... Oh, God. Okay, that was the worst case scenario I was talking about. Um, oh, on the plus side, though, look at this. 19 hours, 18 hours. <sighs> just get just get smashy sorted here. And we just gotta hope Snow can hold on. You just gotta see this through. 10 hours. Okay, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, that's enough. No! Oh, what did I do? I just arrested you. No, 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 no. Oh, I just arrested him right from Fuck! Oh, that's so annoying. The man of series I've done that in. Okay, uh, rescue Brainy. Green, just piss off a second. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. God damn it. All right, whatever. Um, Snow, let's get you rescuing bigger. Uh, then we'll get Crafty on Bastard. And then Green, I don't think he's bleeding out, so we've got nothing to worry about. Shit, what a mess. And then you're on... You're drinking water. Fine. Um, five conditions for you. 17 hours for you. Smashy still needs tending. Let's get you down there. What a mess. What a total mess. Nobody's gonna die, though. Nobody is gonna die. Because more importantly, we've also got prosthetics now. So as soon as Bigot's back up on his... As soon as... <laughs> oh, no, he does have feet. Okay, he's one of the people that has feet. As soon as Bigot's back up on his feet, 
we can get him doing the surgery. Even if there are infections at that point, we can probably just cut it off and be done with it, right? Smash is okay, just heavily bruised at this point. Um, you're fine. You're bleeding out at 17. We're, we're good. I, I don't know how the hell I pulled that off. The problem is Smash is now a prisoner until he can get back up so I can release him. So that's a little annoying. Um, but it's not a big deal. You know, there's no, there's no penalty for that other than I just can't do anything with him until he can walk again. Which, to be fair, is true anyway. So really, it's made no difference, has it? Okay. Messy. Messy, messy. But everybody's fine. No one's going to die. Just finish off 10 into Bigger and we're safe. Oh. Okay, Bigger's got an infection in his leg. That's okay. I think... I think that's okay. We haven't got any medicine at all, right? We're just like totally out at this point. Uh, yeah, nothing. Shit, maybe I should have gone for drug production rather than hot tubs. <laughs> I really do make this harder for myself, don't I? Well, somebody has to. We're doing quite well otherwise. All right, let's see this big 10 quality incoming. Brace yourself. Oh, you've already tended it. Um, he's actually doing fine. And I partly put that down to the intravenous drip stand. One of the few beds that actually has one. That was very convenient. Are you really genuinely going to be okay with a... Holy crap. Uh, it's actually ahead of the infection. And like I said, I mean, with our... What was the 10 quality? 1.1%. It's, it's all down to the drip stand. That's nuts. Actually insane. Oh, and the rooms are sterile towels, sterile walls, hospital beds. You, you're probably doing all right. The, the, can we just give a round of applause a second to the power couple that are crafty and snow? Just put this whole base back together. We got 36 people coming in next. Wow. I feel like it started ramping up again. Um, let's see if we can prioritize green. I don't want you injecting go juice right now. That doesn't seem like that's going to be particularly helpful. Go on, green. You need tending to. I don't want to risk any more infections. Shit. It's just a table. We'll be fine. Okay. So, we've got a lot of prosthetics here. Let's start. In fact, we've got more than that, right? I just don't think we can hold them all together. Let's... Wait for Bigot to get back up and then immediately do so. Actually, we'll wait for that infection to clear up. Then I'm go I've got to start putting our people back together because this is a total mess. So you've got two legs, two arms. Do I want to replace anything else? Um, is it better? Hold on. Uh, is it better to replace just the hand if the hand is missing or go for the whole arm? Because if they have the same efficiency, it doesn't make any bloody difference, right? It still has the same impact on manipulation. Maybe the hands are cheaper? Hand is... Yeah, okay, so the hands are cheaper. So only replace what you have to. Honestly, this is still kind of easier. Craft artificial bone. Might be good just to keep one or two of those in storage. That would be for, like, cracked clavicles or femurs or whatever. This, this is a, a real awakening. Oh, my God, you're down. Holy crap. Anna Bombination, give me your cataphract armor. And you know what? You fought so well, you get the honor of going into the basement. Congratulations. Ah, oh, Brainy... Oh, no, sorry. Green fell down. Snapped out of his daze. Let's get you picked up and... He's not bleeding out though, right? Yeah, still a bit of a worry about infections there. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe we survived that. <laughs> the amount of times when limbs in this series have had like 1 out of 10. Uh, oh, sorry, like 1 out of 40 on their... Ooh, is that a charged sniper? Unbiocoded, very nice. 1 out of 40 on their durability is, is insane. Absolutely nuts. So is having a bath. Honestly, totally get it. That was, uh, that was a bit of a nightmare. So I think that's, uh, that's a well-deserved, well-earned bath. Can you... Do you want to self-tend? Might not be a terrible idea. I'm not sure I understand why the infection rate is going up so fast, though, with such a shitty 10 quality. I don't entirely understand what mechanic is in play there. Is there, like, a... Like, better immune system or something? Long lifespan? No. Nearsighted. I really should have paid more attention to their, uh... Really should have paid more attention to their, their xenotype, right? I'd have learned quite a lot from this, eh? Oh my god. They're all irascible. I had no idea. Small build, fat body, nearsighted is a real problem. Accuracy factor long is 75% worse than a regular person. Shit. I couldn't have picked a worse xenotype to do a survival style colony with. That was a 0% 10 quality snow. I get, there must be something in the room that's given him such a massive bonus here, because the immunity is still going up massively. I mean, I know we've got the intravenous strips down, but it's still plus 10%. It doesn't make sense that it would still be going so fast with that, right? I mean, to gain speed factor 121%. That's nuts. Oh, he's actually back up. Uh, before his immunity had completely cleared that we could self 10 now anyway. I don't understand why that went up so high. But that's that's fine. I'm, I'm completely alright with that. Nice. Okay, so... That raid could not have come at a better time because I was getting too much into the mindset that actually we're kind of safe now that we've got all this power and all this resources. We just keep throwing down the military turrets and we're defended, right? I feel like that's not the bloody case because we got absolutely decimated there. I think now the focus switch switches immediately to uh, 
getting whatever medicine we can, right? We'll just grow a shitload of heal root, uh, I guess, fairly urgently. We'll throw down a boatload of uh, prosthetic bills and, and anything to try and get our people back up. And we've just got to rebuild back up to some decent level of health, I think, at this point. Because this is... This is too much of a risk right now. To be honest, the best part is I was a little bit worried it was getting too easy. And this is this has been a good, humbling experience. And it means that, uh, for, from my perspective, that even when we get all that really crazy research eventually with the Rematomics turrets and the um, fortification of the industrial turrets, it still means they're going to be valuable to us. Because I'd have been a bit shit if we just, okay, here's a bunch of military turrets, we're fine. Now we're working towards nothing at all. So this is, this is kind of cool. This is good. Even though everybody died, everybody fell over, this is this is totally fine by me. So tomorrow, armor. Oh, I mean, obviously fabrication. And then armor, be that marine armor, flak armor, whatever. Can we already make flak gear? Did we get that research in the end? Don't think we did. Uh, flak, maybe try the right bench. Nothing. Okay, fine. Um, get armor well, would be fantastic rather than just dresses and helmets we've stolen off of bodies. B putting our people in more sensible positions, like further back away from the turrets so that they're shooting the turrets first, not our people. And then replacement limbs. We'll be good as new. What a mess. Thank you all for concreting with me today. It was very combat heavy, I admit. Uh, far more than normally we would have. And especially dealing with the fallout of it. But I, I do enjoy that high tension style of, of gameplay. You know, it makes it worth building up towards something. Rather than just sitting behind a big old fortress and doing nothing at all. Thank you to the patrons. We have quite a lot of patron names to crack on with today. Wow, there's bloody loads. Thank you to... Mickey J187, Salakata, Hurtful, Nugsy Balone, MCG, MCG, Amuse, Lizards, Bucky, Babe Lincoln, Nightwitch, FH, Sleep is Boring, Jordan 15J, Adeem, Blackadder 51, Ethan Hurst, Bannigan, Mitchell Skaggs, Lady Adax, That Buck Guy, Dog from Dog Hunt, Ben Beard, Hentai Connoisseur, Megaloton, The Solo Goldfish, Cat Cameron, Blood Riot, DQ, Bobby, Sean Davies, Red Noah, Dorian, Jerry the Emperor, Edgewin, Jacob of Doom, Master Shredder, Thone X, and Cat Synergen for their support over on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. And thank you to Nylanthria, Ken Buchanan, Squirty, Bleed, HK, HJK907, Frey Buter, Gorzon, Chris Bjornsson, Lem, Perfectly Innocent Wizard, Alan Robert Cox. I'm Nick the Good. Vincent Van Camp, Asgar and Dodo, Owen M, Tadro, Mantle, GV11, Piggy Gamer, Rooftopia, Knight, Lucia, Matt Weberg, Duna, Koza, Mask, Churgalax, Thizzleflex, Aragon Awesome, The Big Sneeze, More But Singe, Noah Dunkley, Matt Metman, Cameron Smith, and Bilbo Fraggins. Thank you. See you all tomorrow. I don't think this will be a long series, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm putting up a Patreon post over the next couple of days. I'll talk about some upcoming series ideas because I think I've got some really big brain plans and I want to talk through what people are interested in the most and which ideas need a bit more refining. So stay tuned for that one and see you all more importantly tomorrow.